Hello and welcome to my guide for Emperor Shao Hao. Now, Shao Hao is a new faction in patch 5.4, and um, he is, of course, located in the Timeless Isles. Now, unfortunately, this is not one of those uh, one of those rep grinds that you can really cheat your way out of or uh, kind of speed up in some sort of way. There really is just a few ways to do things, and I'm going to tell you what I think about what the best way to do them is. So the first, uh, the first thing is reputation via mobs. Now, most of the rep that you'll get with Shao Hao is gained by killing Yangol mobs. These are located in the uh, the f uh, Firewalker Ruins and the Blazing Way, also in the Ordon Sanctuary, and they give from two to twenty-five rep each. There's a variety of mobs, and the amount of rep they give pretty much corresponds directly to their difficulty. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is. You really, you kind of want to be in a group for this, it'll just go so much faster than if you're doing it solo. However, if you want to solo it, you are of course able to. The first location that you'll probably run into will be the Firewalker Ruins. Now these are actually very simple, in terms of uh, the mobs themselves. The first kind you have is the Candle Makers, or Candle Keepers, whatever, the Candle Somethings. They're weak, they've only got a few hundred thousand health, like under a million. They're easy to kill, but they only give 5 reputation. You'll also find other mobs there called Oath Guards and Fire Watchers. These are both easily solvable and give 10 rep each. Still, it's it's kind of slow here, but if you're in a group, you'll be able to absolutely slaughter your way through these guys and really get the rep up pretty quick. Now, the next place is the Blazing Way. This does have harder mobs. There's Berserkers, which deal high damage and have about 3.5 million health. When killed, you will get 15 rep for one of these. Honestly, as opposed to the ones in the Firewalker Ruins, I just don't think they're worth the extra effort. Now there's also an area to the north that's full of chanters and killing masters. These give you 20 rep each and are really, I mean they're soloable if you have really 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 good gear but they're so tightly packed together that realistically you will need a group for this. And while they do give 20 rep each, they are that bit harder and unless you have a group that's even more than 5 people, I, I still think it would be more efficient just to go off um, to the Flamewalker Ruins where the mob density is quite high and just like murder your way through that. Now there's also the Ordon Sanctuary, there's a lot of mobs there that give 25 rep each, but of course they are very powerful and of course to get into the Ordon Sanctuary you need the Legendary Cloak. So a lot of people won't have that day one and it's not really reasonable to get up there. It's still, I don't think it would be faster even if you could get up there. Now, at an average of 10 rep a kill, it would take 4,200 kills to get exalted, which is quite a few. However, do remember that if you're in a group, you are getting quite a few kills a minute. Especially if you're in the Firewalker Ruins, which is a high mob density, and they have a pretty reasonable respawn rate as well. Now, part 2, Reputation via Quests. So there's a series of quests with Shao Hao which will give you rep. The first one is called The Last Emperor. It requires you to talk to him and give 200, and it gives you 250 rep. It's really simple. The next quest is called Timeless Nutrients, and you basically just need to go off and eat one of the many, many food items that are lying on the ground. Like, literally, you walk about two, three meters away from the guy, and you'll probably find a tree with one of the things you ate. Really simple, and it gives you 250 rep. The next one's called Ray Shrine, Way Shrines of the Celestials. This requires you to activate one of the Celestial Way Shrines. You'll find these scattered all over the island, and they're very, you know, they're easy to find. Now, they won't always be active, so you just need to keep on running around until you find an active one. Click on it, and that'll give you 250 rep. The next one is called Drive Back the Flame. This requires you to reach Honored and gives 250 rep. Finally, there's one called the Arcturus of Flame, which requires you to kill this very strong mob, and it gives 250 rep. Map? No, 250 rep. Now, all of these are self-explanatory, bar the Arcturus of Flame. First of all, it has uh, 42 million health and will require probably multiple people to kill and also does very high damage, so the more people the better when it comes to killing this guy. And they can be found in the Ordon Sanctuary if you have the Legendary Cloak, however, it's probably a more feasible way is to summon them um, using a Scroll of Challenge at the Three Breeze Terrace. The scroll can be purchased from Mistwalker Q, or sorry, Mistweaver Ku and is 500 coins. Once you uh, use at the Challenger Stone at the Three Breeze uh, Terrence, oh, so many names, uh, you should just run back, wait for all the mobs to spawn, and then just go in there and kill them. Honestly, it's harder on 250 rep, and you'd probably be faster, like, you'd probably get more rep with your time if you just kill mobs at, like, Fire or Flamewalker's uh, Ruins. And that's really it. This guy, he's, uh, he's one grindy bastard, that is, uh, that is for sure. Now, part three, rewards. What sort of cool shit can you expect to get for all this? So at Friendly, you will get some vanity masks to put on your face. They cost 100 coins each. Not really too much to say here. At Honored, you'll be able to buy the Scroll of Challenge and a pouch of Timeless Coins. 
The um, Scroll of Challenge is 500 coins and the Pouch of Timeless Coins is 500 Valor Points and contains 3,500 Timeless Coins. Also, you can buy a Time Lost Artifact for 7,500 coins. This is a 476 trinket which will allow you to teleport to the Isle. Indeed, it's very handy. Also, at Revered, you can get a Celestial Defender's Medallion for 2,500 coins which transforms you to look like a Celestial Defender. You can also get a battle pet known as the uh, Harmonious Porcupine, and it costs seven and a half thousand. Finally, if you are absolutely crazy, um, which I'm sure most of you are, you'll be able to get to Exalted, and uh, that will let you buy the Reigns of the Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent for a rather whopping 100,000 coins. Now, it actually would, that does seem like a lot, but it actually takes you more kills to get to Revered, or sorry, to get to Exalted than it does uh, for the 100,000 coins because you can get the coins from other sources, but goddamn, lots and lots of farming required for this one. Anyway, it seems like a bit of an interesting faction, really on for the people who enjoy the vanity items and perhaps the usefulness of the Celestial Defender's medallion. So yeah, honestly, my biggest recommendation for this whole thing is to just get a group together, so, I mean, some people that are dedicated want to get that rep and just blast your way through. Um, Flamewalker Ruins or something like that, that definitely, in my opinion, and from my PTR experience, seems to be the best way to do it. Even in the PTR, people were forming groups to get up rep. So yeah, that is it for me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you next time.